All right, another game, guys. Uh, shout out to Story Gomez, who resub for the seven month in a row. Thank you, Story Gomez, for the seven month resub. And Arclight uh, uh, cheered and said, Oatmeal Raisin or Chocolate Chip Cookies? Again, depends. Probably more often than not, I would like Chocolate Chip, but I do actually really like Oatmeal Raisin, too, so it all depends. I actually like... I like uh, soft Oatmeal Raisin cookies, I but uh, uh, Chocolate Chip, I could go either Chewy or, or the... Uh, Hard cookies. I think they're both good. Mm. All right. Oh, for the love of God! Come on! Stupid game. I saw good items, but now I can't fucking find them. Now I can't find them at all. Where the fuck were they? Oh! Ugh, I didn't want to fall. Sean Slayer says, why do I think that games are doing so badly? They can't seem to put out a good game like Sea of Thieves, etc., you know. And now State of Decay apparently sucks. I mean, first of all, again, can't judge State of Decay till I play, all right? Can't. Um, I give it a I'm going to give it a fair shot. Bottom line is, I really like the first game. Everyone says it's similar to the first game, so why the hell is this game bad then? That's what I don't understand. Um... I mean, Microsoft Game Studios is not doing so well, though. I mean, real talk. I mean, most of the shit they're putting out, people don't like. And that's not good. You know, again, this is supposed to be the studio that's putting out the games to make you buy the console. And every effing game is a dud now. And it's like, what are they going to do? You know, you get to a point where it's like, well, something's got to give here. You know, you have to get a reason for people to buy your console. And if your console's really so bad that there's just nothing worth playing on the damn thing, you know, what on earth are they going to do? Because right now, especially with the whole God of War debacle, where God of War was PS exclusive, PS4, and tons of people who only had Xbox Ones went out and bought a PS4 because they said, I can't, you know, I can't not have this amazing game. I wish Microsoft would do the same and make a good game for us, but they haven't, you know. Um, it's a shame. And I feel for people who only own an Xbox One and can only afford an Xbox One. And now they're screwed. Missing out on so many great games. And then when their games come out, they drop this money. Well, I gotta support my console, guys. I'm gonna buy this console exclusive. What the fuck are you still doing in the Sea of Thieves right now? Get your thumb up your ass. You know? <laughs> Timbal Slice cheered. He said, here are the rest of my bits. I'll not be on stream for City of Decay 2 over the weekend because I plan on playing the game. So I don't want to spoil it. Fair enough. Thank you, Timbo. Uh, and Omega Man shoot again. He said, ah, Zabenia. I don't know what the hell he's saying. Hopefully it's not something offensive. All right. Probably Lion King. <laughs> Grabbed the wrong thing. I didn't want that, but... I don't have a fucking... I don't have a backpack. I don't want extra items that I can't carry, you know? Where am I right now? Okay. <clears throat> Hyper, you see me cheered and said, would, would it be too masculine to raise another man's child? Another, another question that people have already asked. Therefore, it's a detractor idiot who's trying to get a meme going. And I'm just not going to answer. So there you go. Waka waka doo doo, yeah. Waka waka doo doo. I didn't want that grenade, but okay. Timbal Slice Cheery said Microsoft just announced they are building triple, uh, quadruple A studios with huge budgets, so let's hope they start putting out good games. You know, Microsoft ain't all bad. They do a lot of things, they, they have been doing a lot of things right. The backwards compatibility of the Xbox. <laughs> Backwards compatibility of the Xbox One's been I hit him a bunch of times. There was blood, but he didn't die because I had a shitty gun. 
Anyway, the backwards compatibility of the Xbox One is a great thing. I've been playing a ton of games on Xbox One recently, including Dead Space 2. Because of the backwards compatibility, I haven't had to boot up my 360 and get the, the dust off of it and shit. That's a good thing. Um, that's something that the PS4 does not have. You cannot play PS3 games. You can't play PS2 games. You know what I mean? Like, PS4 doesn't have any of that shit. So that's a big, a big win for that. They've got this new, if you guys haven't heard, this new controller, this accessible controller for, for people who are limited in the motion that they can do. You know, handicapped people, uh, people with other disabilities. This controller is supposed to aid them in playing video games. And it's supposedly groundbreaking, amazing, a million ports. Like, accessibility is a huge thing in this day and age. Um, now that especially gaming has become so big. So, you know, they're doing some things right. They just can't make a good game. They can't make a game that says you must buy the Xbox One because of this. They haven't done it yet. There's not a single game right now that I would tell you you absolutely must own an Xbox One to play it. I can't tell you one. Not a single game. That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, Kelling says Game Pass is also sweet. I agree. A, you know, monthly fee, a flat monthly fee, and you're playing all the Nintendo... Oh, oh, Nintendo, boy. I'm wearing a Nintendo shirt. That's why I said that. You're playing all the Microsoft first-party part games. You're playing a bunch of added games for that one flat fee every month. That's a great deal, man. A lot of people are playing the new games on the cheap, you know? So I'm not saying Microsoft sucks or they're terrible and they're, you know, they're not, you know they, they've, come, they've made great strides with things that they're doing right. The problem is they just can't make a good game. <laughs> they can't do it. Sean Slayer Charity says, but PS4 has PS Now service to play PS3 games, and no one wants to buy a next-gen console just for backwards compatibility. Well, here's the thing. Let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, that you can only afford one console. Wouldn't you rather have a console that has the ability to go back and play older games and newer games all in one place? Especially, what if you don't have an Xbox 360? But you want to maybe be able to play the Mass Effect trilogy. You want to play Bioshock, right? Then Xbox One's the place, but, you know, then you want to play modern games, you miss out on all the good exclusives PS4 has, so. The Fool took me two bucks. In the console war of 2018, Sony committed to, I must give my soul to Xbox. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm very confused. Oh, no, not again. Not again, no. Oh, come on, no. Don't do it. No, there's an item right there. Don't do it. Stay where you are. Grab the item. Grab it. Grab the fucking thing now. Grab it now. What is that? It's a gun. It's a gun. No, I want the gun. No. No, come on. No, what's going on? What the fuck? I need that gun quick. There's people outside with guns. Where's the stairs? Fuck me. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Where is it? I need that gun. No. Come on, man. I saw the fucking gun up here. Where is it? Oh my god. I can't find it. Is that it? No, I'll do Uzi. At least it's something. Quickly. For the love of fucking God, load this thing. Eternal Napalm Trudy said, Why is there hype for Sage of Decay 2 when everyone bashes Days Gone? Dude, I don't know anything about that. I don't know that anyone, people are bashing Days Gone. I haven't I haven't even seen anything about the game, so I had no idea anyone was bashing Days Gone. I know nothing of what you are speaking, so... <laughs> What's up, actor Michael Merchant? Damn, I don't know where these guys are. It sounded like they were close. It now sounds like they're far away. It sounds like they're way over in those other buildings. Oh, shit. Oh, now we're fucking talking. Oh, yes, baby. We got explosions. We got... We got... 
full on warfare going here, baby. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I like got cheer. He said, plans to play the Wolf Among Us Season 2. Oh, yeah. Wolf Among Us 1 was great. In fact, you know, that's one of those games. It was like the, the early, the early line. Uh, what the fuck? I can't pick this up. The early line of Telltale Games that put them on the map. And make people want to play all their games. And then their shit just went downhill. So, yeah, definitely playing that one. So, you have full to me another dollar and says, Sony committed war crimes in 2018. So, I must give my soul to Xbox. War crimes? Now I don't know what's going on. Yo, we've gone off the rails. I'm lost again. Sometimes you guys bring stuff up. I don't know what... Oh, shit. I don't know what the hell you guys are saying or doing. Fucking war crimes? Get in these windows, can I? Nope. King Swang says backwards compatibility should not be a selling point. You should it should be priority over brand new titles. I agree, I mean I agree with you. It should be an added point. You should you should have great games on your console first. Then okay, you want to add in a bunch of other shit like backwards compatibility. Delightful, right? I got I I'm with you there. I don't know where this guy is. Concrete Cast says, what did I think of the Severed DLC? Oh, it's good. Severed DLC was good. Was it the best DLC ever made? No, it was far too short. But I liked it. I don't know where the fuck this guy is. No, and I am nowhere near the white line. Holy fuck. <sighs> Not even close. Get to moving. I got a long way to go. 